today on fixing assets. This was showing is running a bit hot. So got a couple of things I need to do. First of all, I'm going to change the thermostat because well the housing's a bit iffy. Second of all, I'm going to if if that's thermostat's okay i'm going to change this sender because it's either send a very 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 high temperature to the car quickly or it's blocked okay so that's been relinquished i've got a new one to go on there's the thermostat which is in the water test that in a minute there's some nice nice clean little uh, area so the next job is to clean that up but before we do we're going to test the gasket or test the uh, thermostat kettle's on as you can see, two thermostats, one's new, one's old. There's nothing visibly wrong with that one. And there's, that one's new. New stuff can be crap anyway. But we'll see what happens. Okay, the kettle's boiling now, so we'll just turn them off. See, that's gone down, and there's a can hopefully see a bit of a gap in there, or the or you could. That that one, I can see the gap in as well. So I don't know if it's that's it's issue. You can see the hole there. It's letting water through. See the hole there. It's letting water through. Um, is one hole bigger than the other? I don't think so. I'll try to turn the light off so you can see. Yeah, there you can see the hole. You can also see the hole there. So thermostat's actually okay. So yes, that's going to go back in there, um, well, I'm going to put the new one in because might as well fit something new if I've got it. See, so that will go in there clean off the old gasket I'll put the new uh, new cover on and that should be okay okay so I've got the hose back on coolant topped up it's another day I've got me Swiss tool tag there still I'm going to start them up see what the temperature gauge down there does now the the voltage regulator is a bit duff on it anyway, so it will show on the on the third line, which I don't really want it to do. Um, I'll get the volt a new voltage regulator put on it at some point, but my concern was how quickly it got up to up to the H line. So. OK, 
Okay, so it was still creeping up, but you see, that's hot. Steam's just boiling off some of the water that got spilt. So that's hot, but that, that's cold. That's very cold. It's starting to get warm there a bit. It's, start, it's actually starting. I wonder if I turn it back on, it'll start cooling it down. Should maybe suggest it is the sender unit. That is getting very hot there now. The sender unit seems to have stopped just before the H. Okay, so I've changed the sender now. So that's the sender. It does seem to have settled down there. We'll keep it sat for a little bit, see if it moves up to where it was. So it hasn't um, it hasn't done anything. Um, it hasn't gone as far as high as it did. And I recorded a video. It's sort of settled and went up a little bit, probably because we're sitting, and also because I do think the mixture mixture may be lean. Um, I have promised myself that I would double check this spark plug. To see how it is because I know I know I fixed the uh, fixed the carb a bit didn't I so I don't know if it was just not enough fuel getting in into the uh, jet I think that's that doesn't seem too bad actually. No, I'm not going to play with the mixture. I'm going to give it a test run and see how it gets on. Yeah, so test run over. It's actually working better than it was before. Um. Still quite warm, but not as warm as it was reading. Um, but it's, it's doing well. As an additional little bit, I put a voltage regulator in, and in effect, the temperature displayed went down. So, if you look at the, this picture, this is where it was sat all the way to the Festival of the Unexceptional. So I'd say that's a success. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and there'll be more fixing of assets in another episode.